Okay, vanity. Um, vanity, I'm going to just talk on vanity and, and aging. Um, and um, for me, uh, the, the real thing that helps me with um, uh, van well, vanity and aging is the idea that I am a body uh, and uh, and all the associations, like uh, maybe I'm getting, I'm a body that's getting older, I'm no longer as attractive uh, as I used to be, no longer as uh, strong as I used to be, or what, whatever it is. But um, I think the thing that's helped me with vanity the most is going to the observer and disappearing the idea that I am a body. So uh, once you, if you go to the observer of the body and keep going to the witnesser of the body, so there's a sense of the body, but what's observing that? And if the observer is identified with the body, well, is there a detached observer? So then the, the awareness of the body starts to disappear over the months and years. It's no longer, there seems to be more of a broader uh, observing and anything that seems to be a body, the sense of body starts to become <clears throat> less and more and more vague. And so then the experience that other people are bodies becomes more and more vague. And there's a capacity to let go of any stories or ideas around body. Uh, that's one of the things. If there is anything like um, mm, wanting to be... Uh, so uh, luckily for me, I never... Well, I think for me in early, um, early years, I was quite obese. So... There wasn't much in the way of but that you know obesity is just a the opposite of vanity which is look at me i'm so ugly rather than look at me i'm so beautiful but you could say that's equally vanity so that's one way otherwise you, i would just do heavy cancellings but you need to find out what it is with vanity that the egos what's the core belief systems going on with vanity because those are the ones you have to dissolve so i'll give some ideas it could be <clears throat> yeah if it's if it's age um uh like let's the like, like the belief i would have would be like the older i am the less attractive i am that would be probably a belief that i'd, I'd, I'd have picked up um so it's like uh so every time there's a birthday it's like well probably i had judgments when i was uh, that i picked up from the collective consciousness like oh if you're in your 20s well that's probably the most attractive age to be uh, 30s is starting to get a bit old 40s is like you're very very old I mean I'm, uh, this body's 52 now so 50s is like you, you're getting on with it now 60s is like you're getting close, close to like leaving the body so um, so and you're probably looking old and old and wrinkly and well this body's lost all its hair anyway so um, so you just see what it is is it like um, I cancel my belief that uh, 50 year olds are ugly. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Um, uh, I cancel my belief in attractive bodies. Uh, I'm an infinite being subject. I cancel my belief in ugly bodies. I cancel my belief in aging. Uh, that's a program. I cancel my belief in aging. That's probably a useful one on many different levels because the whole program is like a subset of beliefs. I cancel my belief in aging. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I want to hold in mind. Uh, probably there's judgments with people, I mean, probably judgments with wrinkly skin. It counts my belief if a person has a wrinkly skin, um, they're ugly. I'm an infinite being. So, so you're just trying to find out what the judgments might be with vanity and you can cancel them. God did not create uh, age and so it is not real. God did not create wrinkling skin. See, as you release the belief, you no longer see it. It, it, it sounds mystical. It is mystical you only notice what there's belief systems around. So if um, it's like the ego tracks is like, if you've got a belief around how smooth the skin is, then it's like there's a belief system unconsciously identifying rigorously with your own skin and everyone else's skin. So you're in a kind of a, a world of judgmentalism and tracking of skin conditions, which is just blocking blocking the awareness of the infinite and the non-dual state so you see how you just got to track the belief and just cancel it we'll go to the observer then you'll start let's let's call it wrinkly skin that's what's coming up for me today and aging so let's say there's belief systems like if my skin becomes wrinkly that means then wrinkly skin occurs at age 50 
and I'm going to look at my skin all the time and see how wrinkly it is and look at other people's skins and make and so that you see that creates a huge sort of sort of fear based uh, unease uh, of of uh, of existence so just by going to the observer of of my skin like say if I look in the mirror um I can go to the observer of that and then I can't really I'm I, I cease to identify with my skin or my body and if you keep doing that every day eventually it's too boring to identify with skin and be vain around skin condition for example that's just one aspect of vanity and eventually as you disidentify with your own skin condition and the appearance of the body you start to other people's bodies and skins become meaningless as well so that whole thing of vanity uh, you start to collapse the belief system around that uh, if if it's something like a birthday and there's a lot of fear coming up, you can just allow those feelings to disappear and then it'll be, that will loosen up the identification with age. Uh, I know for some, you know, they may have had a lot of identification with being beautiful or getting compliments with beauty. So just letting that go, cancelling the idea, cancelling um, the, the idea that you are a body and that your body was beautiful or is aging or whatever it is uh, you can cancel that so as you do that those are the beliefs that the identifications that it starts to disappear uh, you can cease to exist that you are a body uh, that's any different because in truth in truth um, separation doesn't exist the the body that was identified as self is not really you and it's only when you identify yourself as a separate body that the projection is that there are other separate bodies. So you live in a world of there's a me and others. As you start to disidentify with that, there isn't a me and an others. And even the tracking of this body is more beautiful, or less beautiful than others starts to cease to exist, it becomes material because there's no bother in tracking it uh, once um, those belief systems are collapsed. So I'll stop and one press the stop button.